Directly align, then insert the AC power cord into the AC power cord connector socket at the back of the control unit. Face the screw on the foot control cord plug downward. Then insert the plug into the foot control cord connector socket on the control unit. Secure the plug by fastening the lock nut. Do not force the fastening nut. Wait till it engages. The pins need to align. Install the motor cable only when the power is in off mode. Align the red mark on the motor with the mark on the control unit. Push the base of the motor cord plug into the socket until the locking joint clicks into place. Push the handpiece onto the motor, taking care to keep it in alignment. Twist the handpiece until it locks into position with a clicking sound. Mount the coolant solution hanger post onto the holder on the control unit. Ensure the pump cover lever is in the open position with the irrigation tube needle towards the back side of the control unit. Use only NSK tubing. Position the stoppers of the tube assembly in the tube guide securely. After the tubes are correctly positioned, close the pump cover by turning the pump cover lever to the closed position 180 degrees counterclockwise. Close the tube clamp between the irrigation tube needle and the irrigation pump. Insert the irrigation tube needle in the saline bag. Open the tube cap to supply air into the bottle. Clip the tube holders to the motor cable. Then insert the irrigation tube into the tube holders, motor and handpiece. Open the tube clamp. Turn the power on at the back of the unit. Select the light level. Off, low or high. To cycle through the light levels. Coolant key. Use to select six levels of coolant solution flow from zero to five. Repeat press key to cycle through the coolant levels. Use to select direction of rotation. Press the key once to change the rotation direction. Once in reverse, the control unit audible warns with a beeping sound. Use to set the gear ratio of the attached handpiece before use. Press the same key until the LCD display indicates the correct gear ratio of the handpiece. For example, options 1 to 1, 1 to 2, 1 to 3, or 20 to 1. Use to set the micro motor speed. Press the plus key to increase and the minus key to decrease speed. Keep pushing the key to change the speed quickly. When the upper or lower speed limits are reached, an audible alarm will sound. Use to set the torque range. Press the plus key to increase and the minus key to decrease the torque range. Keep pushing the key to change the speed quickly. When the upper or and lower torque range limits are reached, an audible alarm will sound. The torque range settings should be selected according to the attached handpiece gear ratio. 1. Select a program number by pressing the program plus or minus key until the desired program number is displayed. 2. Press the light key to select the light level, either off, low or high. 3. Press the coolant key to select the coolant solution flow. 4. Press the forward or reverse key to select the direction of rotation. 5. 
press the gear key to select the correct gear ratio of the handpiece you use. Six, press the speed key to set the required max operating speed by pressing plus or minus. Seven, press the torque key to select the upper limit of the torque range. After completing steps one to seven, press and hold the memory key until you hear a beeping sound. Repeat the above steps to program any one of the eight available programs. Attach the calibration bird to the handpiece and follow this step-by-step -step process. Press the cal key for about two seconds. There will be a beep and the display will switch to calibration mode. One, no load calibration. Torque display shows L. Hold the motor in your hand and make sure that the L is displayed on the torque display. Push cal key without applying load the calibration burr will begin to rotate. Calibration is complete when there is a beep and done appears on the display. Two, load calibration, torque display H. Make sure H is displayed on the torque display. Insert the calibration burr in torque load. Push cal key, the calibration is done while applying torque load, so securely hold the handpiece. The calibration burr will begin to rotate. Calibration is complete when there is a beep and done appears on the display. 3. Speed calibration. Remove the burr from the torque load and then press cal key. Calibration burr should not touch anywhere. The burr will begin to rotate at a slow speed. After rotating slowly for 8 seconds, the burr will rotate at a high speed for 8 seconds. There will be a beep when the calibration is complete. Calibration mode will finish automatically and return to normal screen again. Coolant solution flow volume button blue. Used to select six levels of coolant solution flow from zero to five. Each level may be increasing by one step by pressing this button. If you press the button in level five, it returns to zero. Program button, black. Use to select the desired program number. Program numbers will always ascend each time the button is pressed and released. To descend, press and hold for one second and release. Speed control pedal. Use to start and stop the micro motor and control the speed during operation. The micromotor operational speed is directly proportional to the position of the foot control up to the preset maximum. Forward reverse button, green. Used to change the rotational direction of the micromotor. Push once to change the rotational direction. 